In this video tutorial, we'll have a look at a wiki page and how to create one. Now, for those of you who are not sure what a wiki page is, basically, wiki page is, is the simplest online database that can actually work. So basically, you're going to have some sort of information, a bunch of information in a database, and people will actually come in and have a look at the, your information. Personally, I like to think of a wiki page as something between a simple blog and more advanced forum. So basically, you will have your blogs and you will have have some people coming in and commenting on those blogs and actually editing them and changing them if they have the privileges okay so it actually differs from a blog in a way that you are going to have like an online community where you have different users or different members who can actually post and change the existing uh, blogs and then it's different from the uh, actual uh, forum because you would have more information and it's more um, database related okay so basically we all know about wikipedia wikipedia is one of the biggest wiki paid uh, wiki sites so this is what a wikipedia looks like basically on the front page on the landing page there's some sort of a search bar here where you will actually search for the terms that you're looking for and then you will actually hit on enter and that will actually give you the information you're looking for okay having said that uh, we'll actually create something a bit more different and this is what i already done so basically this is the page i went for it's quite easy and it's quite clean it's very minimalistic and basically i will li i like this page because uh, usually for wiki pages you would have only the information there and not a lot of graphics and everything else so in this case i actually went ahead and i inserted my photos here basically this is something that we've done in one of the previous tutorials and this is just a photo gallery usually you would not have something like this on your landing page you would rather have something that's uh, we have just seen on the Wikipedia however there is the search bar here which I can use and I can search through my pages but basically because I wanted to fill in my landing page I decided to actually put a couple of photographs here and like I said those photographs are actually a gallery which we have seen how to create in the previous video tutorials okay so I'm still gonna stick with traveling and my wiki page is going to be actually on traveling Alright, so let me go back to my dashboard and the first thing that I've done is actually I changed to a new theme and we have seen how to do this before. We actually went to appearance and themes and what I did is actually I searched for a wiki theme and the theme that I've downloaded and installed is actually called my wiki 2.2. Okay, so it's quite easy and it's quite clean, so you can find all of your information right there. The next thing what I had to do is actually go into plugins and search for a plugin called Wiki. I've done that as well and I installed and actually activated my Wiki plugin. Now there's some difference between what we've done in the past and what we're going to do now. In the past we usually just created posts and we actually uh, wrote you know, our text and our blogs in our posts. And for this particular uh, web page, for wiki web page, what I've done is actually I created a new page. So if I go to my pages and I go view all pages, I actually have a wiki page and this is basically my landing page. So this page here is actually this content here okay so this is something that you would put as your landing page all right because usually you do not have any posts and therefore you would not have anything to display here if you put your landing page to be a latest post like we have seen in many times like we have seen many times before when we actually go into settings and customization you have the option to either set your uh, landing page as a static page which is this case or you can actually put it as your blogging page now like I've said there's no blocks here and therefore you have to come up with something that's gonna be your landing page and for this purpose I've just used the photos okay so once I've actually installed my plugins a new menu will appear here which is called the Vikings and basically you can go and have a look at all of them you can add new and you can have a look at the settings all right well basically I'm using the free version of this particular plugin and the only option here I have is to actually set my URL and I'll leave it as wiki of course you can upgrade to a uh, paid version I think it's about uh, $19 to purchase the full version and then you will have some more actual uh, settings here that you can set okay so uh, what I've done after that like I said I created a new page and then I actually went and created a new wiki now to do that I just simply hit on add wiki like we've done with the posts 
and actually exactly the same page will appear as for the posts except for one very important difference okay so basically you would enter your title here you would enter your text here then there's the discussion option here which will allow you to uh, have comments and it will allow something that's actually called a trackbacks or pingbacks and this is very important actually as this will not allow a lot of uh, people to actually comment and actually change your text because uh, you on your website you can have you know people coming from all over the world and just messing around your page and everything else well if you enable this this will actually link your blogs or your text or your wiki pages to some of their comments and everything else so not everyone can actually just come to your web page and just leave comments and actually you know spam it and everything else so this is a good thing when it comes to actually well it's good for linking your pages and your blogs and your wiki pages to uh, particular users but it's also uh, in a way a um, anti-spam if you would like when it comes to the comments and editing of your pages okay so once i've actually entered all the information here and um, the author here is well i have just myself for now i actually went up here and under the attributes what i've done is actually i went either to asia europe or usa so those are the categories that i have and as you can see that i have under asia buzzing cities of asia at Europe I have Paris at night, Paris at day and USA I have New York City. So basically what that means is if I have a look on my left hand side menu I have Europe, Asia and USA. If I was to click on Europe a page like this will be presented to me. So basically this is a category still and we know how to create categories from previous tutorials and then under this category I have actually two new blogs or two new wiki pages okay so if i click on paris by day this will actually display all the information that i have actually typed in and once again i have just used some simple text here just as a representation okay then i can actually put my email address here and anytime that this actually changes i will get a notification all right basically that's this button here so if i enable uh, wiki email notifications this box will appear just under all the information that I have entered and people can simply come in here enter their emails and anytime anything changes here they will be notified if we move all the, all the way to the top we'll have the page which we're currently on then we have the discussion and the history under the discussion we can actually have a look at the whole discussion so this is all the comments and everything else at the moment I do not have any comments in this particular wiki and therefore it's not displaying anything in the history I can have many different um, reviews and everything else and basically I have only one review here and therefore uh, sorry one revision uh, this is the the original revision that I've actually the original post that I created and there is no revisions to it and therefore I cannot actually compare those two revisions of course what it actually means is if I had original text and then I edited it if I actually compare those two texts it will actually give me all the changes and everything else okay so basically this is all that there is to creating the case and basically you can enter some um, you know some different photos and everything else here as well you get some information that this was published on such and such date and who actually published it okay so let me go back to my dashboard and okay what I've done is actually also I played around with the menus so we have seen how to do this before if we go to the appearance and we go to the menus we can create new menus and everything else and now we can see that there is wiki uh, wikis here as well we had galleries links and categories before we are not going to use the categories like we did before we're using the vikings and here I, I have Asia USA Europe and actually I've added those to my main main menu all right so for the duration of this call of this video tutorial what we'll do is we are going to create a new wiki called Australia and under Australia we'll put some new sub sub wikis as I like to call them all right what we have to do is we'll go to wikis all right I'll click on add wiki and what I'll do here is I'm just gonna type Australia okay so basically this is think of this as your category so we are creating a category where we are going to put all of our wikis and all of our wikis are going to be in a way subcategories so you can enter any sort of information here like we did before you can enter video galleries you can enter 
you can enter actually you know photo galleries text and everything else you can allow comments you can uh, this is allow comments and everything else so basically what I'll do is I'll uncheck both of those and the only important he thing here is to pay attention to these attributes here now we are creating a category for wiki and therefore there is no parent category okay so we'll leave this as no parent and of course we can actually put this enable uh, email notification here as well and we can select a featured image like we've done before so we'll go to the media library and we will select one of the images that represents this particular category that we are creating and let me have a look I think I have some photos of Australia here okay I think this is Melbourne that's right I'm going to use this particular image and I'm going to hit on publish okay well, let's recap what we've done now we have just created a new category where we are going to actually put all of our Vikings now the category itself is not a category which we have created before it's a bit different as it will not host any of the posts it's actually going to co uh, to host vikings all right so what i'll do now is i'll actually add a new wiki and i'm going to put here melbourne okay then i'll put melbourne here as well and let's play around with the options here a bit i'll put a line i'm going to have this maybe you know some different color let's go for red and actually what i'll do is i'll change the size i make this a heading and actually let's go ahead and insert a photo of melbourne here as well so once again i'll go to insert media and i'll look for a photo that in a way represents melbourne let's have a look Okay, I have a couple of photos that are actually more Sydney related than Melbourne. This one is Yarra, Yarra River, Melbourne, so we can use that one. Okay, so the photo is right here, and if you click on it, you can actually adjust how it's aligned or adjusted. So we have left aligned, center, right, or more alignment. Alright, so I'll put it as right aligned, okay, and what I'll do is actually I'll make a bit more smaller so it actually stands like that, okay, that's excellent. And like before, I'm just going to enter some random text which I will copy from here. Okay, so there's my text here and once again I can actually go around and play around with the text and everything else here as well. I can. You know do a lot of justifications and everything else so this is basically exactly the same as we have seen it before and okay i'll go down to the discussion menu here and actually i'm going to allow both of those i'm not gonna have any ratings on this and what i like to do is i'll actually go here and i'll find australia here and i will put this as the parent of this particular wiki all right the order here is if you have many different you have for example 10 different wikis you can actually select which number so which order this is going to be zero is starting at the, uh, the first wiki so if you select zero this is going to be displayed as the first one and if i select for example number 10 that will be the last one displayed if i have 10 wikis i'm actually going to enable email notifications i'm going to set my feature image okay and now we are actually ready to publish of course we can save save our draft and actually come back and work on it before we publish it we can preview it but i'll just go ahead and publish it okay once i have actually published this this will now be linked to australia's uh, category or australia wiki category however this will still not appear on my main page so let's go back to my main page even if i refresh it i'm still gonna have europe USA and Asia only okay now to do actually what we have to do now is actually go back to our menus so let's go back to the appearances we'll go to menus and now we actually have to update our menu and to do that we'll go to the menu that we're currently using so our wiki main menu here and we'll go under wikis and we'll actually find Australia here so this is something that we have just added a new if you would like to call it sub uh, new category of wikis so we actually have europe asia and usa i'm going to add australia now 
Okay, and here you can see that this is actually a wiki, and if you click on it, you'll actually get some more information about this particular uh, wiki category. So we have the original that it's Europe, we can remove it, cancel it, we can end, enter some title attributes and whatnot. And actually I'll hit on save menu, okay? So we have actually just added a new category to our web page, and if I go back to the web page, this is basically what's going to happen once I go ahead and refresh my page. A new link here will appear for Australia. Should I go and hit on Australia? This will actually show me the Australia category if you like to call it here. And under this category I only have one blog or one wiki which is called Melbourne. Once I open it I'm actually going to see the blog that I have just created previously. Okay. So this is actually how you would go about creating a blog or a wiki page if you were an admin. Okay, so now we'll actually come to the point where we actually see the difference between a simple blog and a wiki page. Alright, let's go back to the dashboard. And under the dashboard we have something that's called users and we have seen this before. And if we go and click on all users will actually have only one user at this particular time and that's myself and I'm the administrator all right so if I actually wanted to create a new user I can hit on add new and here I have the information I have to enter information about this particular user now this is exactly the same as when you are actually having people sign in for your page you will actually require all of this information and it will be entered automatically now the important bit here is that this bit here down the bottom role now as a subscriber you will not be able to actually go ahead and change any of the text as a contributor you will be able to actually submit your own text author editor and administrator have all the rights to actually change all the text and everything else so if i was to view this page as myself the administrator so i'll open this in a new link and if i was to actually go under for example europe and i'll click on one of the wikis here paris by day as you can see i have a lot more options here because I'm an admin and if I just go back to a normal subscriber I cannot have actually I do not have options here to edit and everything else I can view the page I can view the discussion and the history and as the admin I have the options here like with a subscriber which is actually page discussion history but I also have edit advanced and create new the meaning is I can edit this particular page or I can create new page now but actually adding new users and setting this field here you're actually allowing or disallowing your new members new your users to actually have some of the capabilities so if we just put contributor this person will be able to send uh, you know blogs their own blogs to our web page as wikis but they cannot actually you know uh, go ahead and edit any of those pages so and once actually they have submitted their wiki it will go and wait for the approval okay so that's pretty much it on how to create wiki pages